everyone, welcome to the Phoenix Raceway in Avondale, Arizona. We're here for hot seat qualifying for the Safe Light Auto Blast 500K here for the Cabela's Cup Series. This is going to be race number six, I believe, of season number three. We race five or six still in this young season of the Cabela's Cup Series. We saw a wicked race at Willow Springs, very, very much dependent on strategy there. Kanan Biller won that race, and uh, can you confirm race number five here? This will be qualifying for. And uh, waiting for the first drivers to come off here, are all your uncharted guys. The same from uh, last week at Willow Springs. Remember the two that transferred in last week were the 31 of Vic Merlin and the 7 of Nick Martins. And uh, right now it'll be Merlin who will be the first to transfer onto the track. With uh, the 57 of Zachary Fitzwater and the 41 of Landon Smith Jr. in tow. The 91 of, Jack, of uh, Joshua Harrison. Will, or Quentin Moore, I apologize, will be right behind them. And so we'll pull up the uh, standings board here. Ten minutes in this uh, opening unchartered session here. Vic Marlin is going to be the first one to lay down a true qualifying lap here. And remember the top two advance to the main session with everyone else. So we'll see what Merlin can lay down. Uh, this time, as he comes through turn three and four, and it's going to be a 27-1-3-7, not a terrible lap, and nobody has overtaken him yet. That was a solid lap time. Quentin Moore to second, Zachary Fitzwater to third, the 26 to fourth, it's the 26 of Riley Snare, Lennon Smith Jr. fifth. The 54 of Alex Watts, 6th. Dale Lightning, 7th on the board right now. And now Fitzy up to 2nd with a 27. And hello, Quentin Moore. 27 0 2, 4, number 1 on the board now. Knocks Vic Merlin off the top, but Vic Merlin still in 2nd. So right now, the 91 and 31 would be the ones transferring to the main show. As now, everyone looks to have made a lap. Well, not the 99 yet. Still waiting for Caleb Rose to make his first lap. He has not made a true lap yet. That was just his out lap. And to the top of the board, the 26 of Riley Snare. 26. 915 for that Ace Motorsports Unchartered car. The first one to crack the 26s and joining him, Landon Smith Jr. in the 41 car. 26 941. They are one and two. And just outside of the 26s right now. Quentin Moore, 27-0-0-1. Zachary Fitzwater, 27-0-0-6. We'll see if anyone can knock the top two off here in these final few minutes in Uncharted qualifying before we move on to the main session. And joining in the 26s, hello, Caleb Rose. 26-9-6-6. Almost got to Landon Smith Jr.'s time. Just missed it. So the slowest of the uncharted guys right now is the 09 of Dale Lightning, right there. With a 27-156, actually tied with Alex Watts right now for a 10th. He, he obviously needs to pick up the pace if he wants to make the session. Right now, it is still the 26 of 
uh, Riley Snare and the 41 of Landon Smith Jr. Just outside of it, Caleb Rose, Quentin Moore, Zachary Fitzwater, Keith Kent in sixth right there with a 27.008 for Trinity River Racing. The 50 of Jackson Harrison with a 27.019 in seventh. Nick Martins in eighth with a 27.020 on a custom position for him in uncharted qualifying. Uh, Vic Merlin, the first one out, falls to ninth with a 27-137. Then Alex Watts and Dale Lightning with a 27-156. Now under four minutes remaining here in Uncharted Qualifying. I don't think it's going to change very much, to be honest with you. I think th I think the order we're seeing right now is how it's going to be uh, by the time the timer ticks down. So Riley Snare put down a beautiful lap to get to the top there, and uh, Landon Smith Jr. good enough. Caleb Rose almost knocked him off though. Rose is down on the pit road right now. If he comes out here in these final few minutes, will he have a shot to uh, knock the 41 off? We'll just have to see. But uh, right now, here he is coming back out onto the track in that NS Racing 99. Now under three minutes remaining here in Uncharted Qualifying. might seem like a lot of time but it's gonna tick by quicker than you may think Riley snare crosses the line again does not better his time we'll see what Caleb Rose can do here way down through the dog leg he goes headed for turn number one riding the yellow line slipped up a little there He's trying oh so hard. Through the final two corners, will he knock anyone off? Will he knock off Landon Smith Jr.? Has he done it? No, he has not. Not quite. 27-3-3-6. So it does not... I don't think this order is going to change. I really think it's going to stay the same. Caleb Rose, 27-3-4-1 that time. Definitely slower lap time. Not even close. It looks like it is going to be the 26 and 41 unless something crazy happens here in these final in this final minute and a half. We might have a couple of resets here with the timer. We'll just see what happens. Riley Snare on top of the board right now. Landon Smith Jr., Caleb Rose, Quentin Moore, Zachary Fitzwater, Keith Kent, Jackson Harrison, Nick Martins, Vic Merlin, Alex Watts, and Dale Lightning. That is the order right now on the board. Thirty seconds remaining here. We may get a reset. Might be a couple. So we'll just see how long they last. I reckon you might get a couple more laps out of this session to try to better your time, but that's it. Nobody down on the pit road right now. They're all out on the track. Twenty seconds remaining. Last week it was Vic Merlin, followed by Nick Martins, 
at Willow Springs. This time, it looks like it's going to be Riley Snare and Landon Smith Jr. as we have the first reset now. Of at most two. But still Snare on top of the 26 915 beautiful lap. Only three cars cracking the 26 second mark. Rest of them in the 27s. And that will do it for Uncharted qualifying. Riley Snare and Landon Smith Jr. will advance to the main event. Caleb Rose, Quentin Moore, Zachary Fitzwater, Keith Kent, Jackson Harrison, Nick Martins, Vic Merlin, Alex Watts, and Dale Lightning will be heading home. Without further ado, let's head to full field qualifying here for the Safe Light Autoglass. 500k and here we are for full field qualifying here for the safe light autoglass 500k here at phoenix race number five of the cabela's cup series the two advancing from uncharted qualifying riley snare and landon smith jr will join the full cabela's cup series chartered field all 40 of the cars First on the track is going to be Ben Grosh in the 78. Owner driver for Team Ninja Rapids there. That Disney Plus on board of that 78. Second off is going to be Brad Crawford in the 07. And he will be and uh, Grosh will be the first one to take the green flag here for qualifying. This is his first true lap right here. First true timed lap. Defending race winner here in the Cabela's Cup Series is Kanan Biller in the 95. Here he is coming off the pit road, the defending champion, as well as defending winner. Looking for another good run here in the West Coast Swing and Ben Groch. 27-4-4-0, the first true timed lap of the session. And Ben Groch er, Ben Groch is quickly knocked off by Brad Crawford in the 07. 27-3-0-5. Nobody cracking the 27-2s yet. I'm surprised. Well, I take it back. Nathan Smith cracked a 27-1-5-2. And he goes to number one on the chart now. Ben Gorch at 27-2. And Brad Crawford now to the top of the board. We're going to see a lot of shuffling here early on in this qualifying session as expected. Because uh, everyone is just now getting up to speed. We're going to see truly who the fastest drivers and fastest cars are in the session. <clears throat> the later we get into this opening stage here. Darian Arnsdorf now on the top of the chart. Just two one thousandths ahead of Super Swede, Sam and Osgin, Kanan Biller third, Ethan Smith fourth, Ethan Lewis fifth, and hello, Sam and Osgin to the top of the charts. 26 8 8 9, number one for Super Swede. He knocks Darian Arnsdorf off the top of the board there. Christopher Reynolds in third overall. Season one shit. And hello, Trey Smith. And they're still shuffling around. And hello, Landon Smith Jr. tied Sam and Osgin just before Stephen Cologne in the 98. Shot to the top of the chart. 26 8 8 3. And 8 3 3, actually. Charlie Davenport now moves up to the second spot with a 26-8-5-3. And hello, points leader, Alexander Rowe. And now Sam and Osgood again cracks a 26-7-6-6. They are shuffling for the top of the chart later in the session than I thought they would, honestly. I thought they would already be finished. And we'd just be uh, cruising the rest of the way here. But Sam and Osgood back to the top of the chart. 
with a 26. A hello, Roy Rebelton for Fitzwater Australia Racing. 26, 7, 0, 2. And just dodged Sophia Fragniti there, who was coming on the pit road. Roy Rebelton now to the top of the chart. Sophia Fragniti is actually third overall right now. So just 10 and a half minutes remaining here in qualifying. 81, 82, 83. That's the top three right now. How about that? Screenshot that and save it for later, huh? Roy Rebelton, Sebastian Kukulon, and Sam Osgin, the top three. Literally numerical order that works out. I've never seen that before here in qualifying. Wait, that's that's really something. But Sebastian Kukulon with a 26-7-3-1 in that combos Toyota. Fantastic lap there. Almost knocked Rebelton off the top. And that, that would have put both the Trinity River racing cars on the inside line for the beginning of the race tomorrow here at Phoenix. And Trey Smith has moved up to third now. Owner driver for Arctic Racing. 26, 7, 6, 2, 4, 1 thousandths of a second over Super Swede Sabbath Osgood. Still Roy Rebelton on top now. It goes Rebelton, Kukulon, Smith, Osgin, Fragniti, Hightower, Rowe, Collins, Smith Jr., and Cologne. That's the top 10 right now. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the way it stayed. We're getting to be nine minutes left here in qualifying. I would not be surprised at all if this is how it remained. Headed off to turn three. Rebelton's got a big run there. Down low, but he's got Christian Vargas in front of him. Not going to improve his time, though. Not a whole lot of shuffling in the top ten right now. So we'll scroll down to the bottom here. Brad Crawford with the slowest time out of anyone right now. It's 27-119. Only three guys still in the 27s. It's Kip Silverpoint, Dan Park, and Brad Crawford. Only three drivers still outside or slower than the 26 second lap. Keep an eye on that. It's now eight minutes remaining here in this session. Points leader coming in, Alexander Rose. Snatching it away from Benny Watson after a good run at Willow Springs. On track to start 7th right now here at Phoenix. And he has been very fast to start off this season. I wouldn't be surprised if he could have a good run here at Phoenix. Alexander Rose is a good driver, so we'll, we'll see what he can do here. Dan Park coming down on the pit road here with 7.5 minutes remaining. To get adjustments here to potentially get a better time in the latter parts of this session. We'll just see what happens. There's going to be tires and fuel for him. Potentially wedge adjustment. We'll just have to see what happens. There is still Roy Rebelton on the top with uh, Sebastian Kukulon, Trey Smith, Sam Adoskin, Sophia Fragniti, Joey Hightower, Alexander Rowe, Mitchell Collins, Landon Smith Jr., and Keegan Thompson has moved his way up into the top 10 there for the 26.824. Good lap out of that driver of the 46 car. So just a little over six and a half minutes remaining now. As a, let's talk about this guy right here, Ben Crouch. Saw him up inside the top five in qualifying laps earlier. That I believe it was that 26.902. He's now in 27th on the board right now. The session's not particularly gone well for him since the beginning. He's uh, been kind of been stuck back in traffic. So, see if he can rebound here in these final six minutes. Don't know if it's going to happen, though. I'd be hard-pressed to see it. I'd be hard-pressed to think it did. I 
think it's staying pretty much the same for the rest of the session. That would mean Roy Rilton right here with just under six minutes remaining is on the top of the charts and I do not think that it's going to change unless something crazy happens. And we know crazy. We live through 2020 so we've seen plenty of crazy. And you know what? Even to start this year too. We've seen plenty of crazy anyway so you never know. You really never know what's going to happen. Just under five and a half minutes remaining. Sebastian Kukulon right in front of Rebelton on the track, but not in the standings. A 26 7 3 1. You know he's trying oh so hard to get to the top of the chart. He might even, if he can't get to the top of the chart, he'd probably like it if Trey Smith overtook him because. Starting on the outside line here at Phoenix is just about a death sentence. Because you are going to get shuffled to the back almost immediately. An inside line is going to be flying right off the start. If you don't get to that inside right away, you are done for. And so both the Trinity River Racing cars in that situation right now, the 82 and 83, Kukulon and Sam at Osgen, second and fourth right now on the charts with 26.7 second laps. Of course, you've seen how wide they've been getting here in this session. Some of them have been sliding way wide, particularly in turns one and two, the flat part of the track. Something to look out for on race day. The opening laps here at Phoenix are absolutely ridiculous how wide drivers will take it, especially when starting the race double file. So we'll have to see how it pans out. We, well, we, I don't Whenever this goes up, I can't really talk about the Scots National Race. I almost, I almost did. I think this is going to end up going up before the Scots National Race, which uh, will be right here at Phoenix International Race, where not Phoenix Raceway, not international anymore, over on the Trinity River Network, and it's going to be a crazy race. That is for certain. Turning in right now, the defending uh, Cabela's Cup Series champion, Kanan Biller, sits 24th in the session right now, but he's coming off of a confidence booster at Willow Springs with a fantastic win there. Dominating victory. He is looking to continue his comeback here in the Cabela's Cup Series after a rough start to the season. Defending Scott's National Series champion, though, Kip Silverpoint in the 68 for Ace Motorsports. Sits 41st on track right now with a 27.030 and one of only two drivers who have yet to crack the 26 mark. It'd be her and Brad Crawford. And, uh, as we're later on in this session, I don't think it's going to get any better. I don't think anything's going to change here for the rest of this inside that top 10. But, uh, one guy, let's talk about. Ethan Stapleton has had a mixed bag of a season so far. Came in to Willow Springs uh, inside the top five in points and uh, he finished uh, very much deep in the field when the Fry's Electronics 500k came to an end and as a result if I'm not mistaken he slipped back in the points let's see here he slipped back three positions so he was in fourth he slipped to seventh it wasn't as bad as it could have been but is one is looking to uh, make a statement here on his season still has not won a race in the Cabela's Cup Series 
He's entering his third season of competition, did not compete in all the races in season number one. He was part of the uh, seven driver expansion when the field expanded from 35 to 42 at the uh, 12 race mark. After 11 races, the field expanded and he was part of that. So, we'll see if that not driving the 97 owner driver for NS Racing out of Indiana. We'll see what they can get going here. Chris Reynolds very low on the exit of turn number two, headed for three. Don't exactly know what happened there to Reynolds. He's 13th overall right now with a 26.843. There were just a few seconds remaining here in qualifying. Just a little bit left. Roy Revelton on the top right now. Sam, uh, Sebastian Kukulon in second. Trey Smith third. Sam Adolskin fourth. Sophia Frankini fifth. Joey Hightower sixth. Alexander Rose seventh. Mitchell Collins eighth. Landis with Junior Knife and Keegan Thompson rounds out the top 10 here as we're getting a little reset here. May or may not have one more after this. We'll just see what happens. So the, only the top five cracking the 26 sevens. It may only be the top five here. This may be the final uh, tick down right here, the final countdown. Not quite. We're going to go around one more time here at Phoenix. Not that I not that I think it's gonna change anything. Looks like the pole position might be headed home to Australia. With Roy Rebelton and Fitzwater Australia racing. Eight seconds left. And not going to happen. It's gonna be Roy Rebelton on the top of the board. With a 26.702, so followed by Sebastian Kukulon, Trey Smith, Sam Adalskin, Sophia Fragniti, Joey Hightower, Alexander Rowe, Mitchell Collins, and Landis with Jr. with Keegan Thompson rounding out the top 10. And we'll scroll through the rest of your standings here. The slowest qualifiers, Kip Silverpoint and Brad Crawford. That did not change. They did not crack the 26 second mark. So that'll be qualifying here for the Safe Light Autoglass 500K. Congratulations, Roy Rebelton. You are sitting on the pole for this race. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the Cabela's Cup Series race here at Phoenix. And maybe even later on for the Scots National Series race. As well as uh, later on tomorrow night, we've got the Car Quest Indy Racing League. the Kentucky Speedway. The Thorns 125K. That's going to be a wild one for sure. Hope y'all are ready for this weekend of racing. I hope y'all are excited. We'll see you then. And until then, y'all have a good one.